Good day friends, I've got a new project for you. Once again, we need to make a new sheet. When you go to sheets, simply hit that plus sign to start a new one. And we're going to name this one Connect 4. We are actually going to make a cool multiplayer game using a spreadsheet. Type in your name, press enter or click somewhere else to make it permanent, and let's start making Step 1 is to grab columns A through H, right click up on the gray space, and resize those to 50 wide. Then grab rows 1 through 10, right click on that gray space, and resize those to 50 wide as well. That way we have got squares for our game board. I would like to leave one blank space around the edge, so let's start at B2, and select all the way down to H7. With those selected, we need to hit the border tool, and we need to pick a cool color. I'm going to make mine blue, and I want them all the way around. Next, we need to make our game pieces. So let's go down one uh, gap below, and let's also make the borders blue and make those with the same format as above. We're going to practice using copy and paste, which is control C and control V. And we're going to have our X in the first box. And we're going to have our O in the second box. And then we want those formatted so that they fill the squares. We're going to do that by using 24. And then we also want them centered left and right. And it's cooler if they're centered in the middle. So that the game is easier to see, make one one color and make the other another color. You can pick your own fun colors. Later, we're going to keep track of some cool data. So I need you to put player one and then put player two in those little boxes. And we're always going to have the first one be player one so that it's consistent. And then also it's nice to chat with each other as you play. So let's type player one, chat and press enter. And then player two chat and press enter. And let's take these two boxes. So I'm grabbing on the 11 and 12. And let's make those row heights 50 as well. And then let's merge these boxes with the cool merge tool. So we've got room to write our comments to each other as we play. Because the beauty of this is you can actually play it in different houses. So you can be at home and play against somebody. You can definitely play it against different seats in school as well. We need to wrap our text, which is with the text wrapping button. Do the text wrapping again. And let's also format those with the center choice, the vertical and the middle choice. And since player one has the red X, let's use the cool fill table, fill tool to make that one red. And let's make the other one color coordinated as well so people know where they're chatting. You have just created an amazing Connect 4 game. Now you do control C to uh, be the first player. And then you do control V to paste that letter in. When you play Connect 4, you build from the bottom up, so you have to make sure that they're always on the bottom. And then you share this with somebody on the internet by putting their email address in, just like you would with any other Google account. I'll show you quickly using my teacher account, and this way you can see that I've got it launched on both screens, and I'm able to use the copy and paste shortcuts to paste the letters in. You can also use the chat boxes to say comments to your friends as you build, the cool project and then play connect four against your neighbors you win the connect four game by either having four in a row vertically horizontally or diagonally as i show in the picture here uh, play at least two people in the classroom or you can play from home if that's where you're at make sure you use the player one and player two chat so you can comment to each other about how it's going most of all, though, I hope you have fun and note all the cool formatting skills that we use to make this game possible.